Hey everybody, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to continue where we left off in the previous video where we were talking about a Marvel's Rivals character. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into Unreal. We're going to actually look at the maps. So not only the diffuse or color maps, but we're also going to be looking at the normal maps and some compressed maps that are specific to Unreal. As you can see, I have changed my intro setup because, well, if you watch my other videos, my camera and lighting situation sucks at the moment. Now, what we have here is Venom. All right, say hello to the people. Okay, is that where you... Okay, you're gonna keep doing that? All right, let's get started. All right, so here we are in Unreal, and I'm aware that I got a big bump on subscribers last week. So if you are brand new to Unreal and have no idea and you want to see something specific from Unreal, you're an indie dev, please let me know and I try to work in those tutorials uh, in between this series. Now, what we have here is Space Venom. The reason why I'm choosing Space Venom and not regular Venom is because he has a little bit more involved textures and it, it can get some other points across that I want you guys to see. Now, what we have here goes against what I've been saying in the past few videos, which is the less materials, the more optimized your um, asset will be. However, when it comes to Marvel Rivals, as I have also said, you only have a specific number of characters on screen so they can get away not only with having more topology, but also with having more materials. So as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five materials for one character and Doctor Strange and Iron Man, which are the other two that I pulled out, they even have more materials on them. Now, I just want to show you real quick Iron Man and how many materials does he have? Starting with all of these materials are for the skin, like the actual Tony Stark face that's underneath his mesh. And then we have all of these materials hanging out at once. Some of them have hidden because they're not doing anything. But yeah, just to show you that Iron Man is even crazier than Venom. So what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at setting up the materials in a basic way. I'm pretty sure that what uh, they do in Marvel Rivals is a little bit more complex because you have to take into account VFX and various different states of the characters. So we're just going to do the basic thing because I also want to talk about all the other maps related to Unreal. So let's get started. Let me open this guy right here. Uh, I just wanted to see the naming convention. As you can see, it has a lot of numbers. When I first saw it, I thought that it could be because I pulled them out of the game and they usually come in like uh, encrypted file. But now that I'm seeing the MI is kind of like a classic thing for materials in Unreal and it's also named body, head, body and equipped and all that. So I'm thinking this is actually how they uh, deal with it uh, during their pipeline. So let's let's just start looking for body. So we have one, two, three. Then we have the head. Then we have that rim light that I spoke of when we were in Blender, because uh, that's part of the characters here. Let's go into body one. And I'm just going to type body so we can see the relevant textures. And there are several of those. So I'm just going to do body zero one. There you go. It narrows the search a little bit better. I'm just going to get rid of these. And um, we'll go each map. Uh, I'll, I'll do a brief description of it in case you are new. So what we're going to do is we have the diffuse. The diffuse map is the one that has all the colors and the one that you've been seeing when I was in Blender. The new map right now is going to be normals. Now normals is what gets a lot of detail onto the model because there's only so much detail that you can add with geometry before things start breaking. So the rest we added with normal maps. Normal maps is a map that adds the detail, but also that detail reacts to light. So that effect, if you are uh, far from the character, you can see it. But if you get too close to the character and you kind of like move around, you, you're going to see that effect gone. And, and we'll, we'll see it once it's applied to the character. Uh, it's usually in this color. 
Now, the other map, and this is a very important one, is the ORM. So the ORM is a very classic way to compress a map inside Unreal Engine. I know other engines do have their own type of compression. I know that Unity has their own uh, naming convention for compression right now. I can recall if somebody knows, leave it in the comment section down below. Uh, I know uh, the Anvil engine, which is what the U Ubisoft uses for Assassin's Creed, also has a type of compressed map, so you don't have to add more textures for just one single thing. And that being said, let's let's look what's compressed here. So this one, it's called ORM. ORM stands for Occlusion, Roughness, and Metallic. So occlusion is that little, little subtle shadows that you see when there is contact in between two objects, and it's used a lot in 3D to highlight details. It's very subtle to see it, but when you, you don't have it, you can really tell it's not there. And I know it's it's something weird to explain. So the occlusion map is going to be in the red channel. And that's why you see it right here. Now we have here the roughness map on the green channel. The roughness map, what roughness means is um, when a surface is very rough, it doesn't reflect light. When a surface is very polished, it reflects a lot of light. So like a mirror, that means that if you have a lot of roughness, meaning your map is tended more towards the whites, you are not going to have as much light reflection. But if you have less roughness, meaning your map is tending more towards the blacks, then you are going to have more polished surface, which means also a reflection. It doesn't exactly mean polish. It means, you know, the left's rough. Like if something is wet, it's also very reflective which I'm thinking Venom might have some parts that are a little bit moist, so that's why some reflections here. And then there is, in the blue channel, the metallic map. Usually the metallic map is black and white, but what I've seen in a lot of stylized art styles, the metallic is represented in a little bit of gray because it gives a very certain effect, especially if you're using a specular map. So. For these guys, um, usually the PBR workflow, that means physical base rendering, I already mentioned in the other video, link in the below, by the way. Um, the specular map is uh, usually for stylized characters, and as you can see, it's just a type of a color-ish maps that adds the highlights. So the difference between this and the diffuse, you can see it here. It's two different maps. But this one is just uh, affecting a little bit of the highlights, and you're going to see that effect in a second. So right now, what we're going to do is we're going to hook up diffuse to base color. We're going to hook up normals to, you guessed it, normal maps. And then we're going to bring the ORM, uh, red channel to occlusion, green channel to roughness. And you can see it changing here. And then we're going to go black, uh, I'm sorry, blue channel to metallic. And we're also going to bring this one, which has the S on it, which is the specular. And we're going to drop it here in specular. And it's going to give us um, all the detail that we need for this kind of art style. Now, there is something else, which is emissive map. And the emissive, it means uh, those parts of your character that usually look like it has light. So what we're going to do, this one, I think it's black and white. Yes, it is. What we're going to do, and again, this is not going to be exactly how they set up the materials, but usually when I see emissive maps that are black and white, I like to um, add a little multiplier here and a three to bring up a color map. Constant three means um, just whatever color you want. So we're going to select that blue-ish tin the Venom looks like he's having. So we'll bring it here, and we're just going to do this. This is usually a node that I use to put two things together. Now we're going to add another one in between here, and this one's going to be 15. Um, this is the B in this case is the intensity, and we're going to plug it in here, and you can see that this lit up. So pay attention to this part right here. I'm going to break it, and you can see it doesn't have any kind of light, but if I plug it here, it does emit a little bit of light and it has a little bit of design inside of it. So we're going to save. So it applies to our character and you can see it here. 
So, like I said, been, well, this this is the part where it has the Amism map. But what's interesting is that they have broken down the materials in several parts. And just like we explained last time, this is so each part will get more real estate. Now let's keep going. We have body 01. Let's go to. Now for this one, um, we do have an extra map, which is this one that has an M. I'm thinking this is actually an actual metallic map. So we'll use it as metallic and see what happens. I'm going to do this in a time lapse fashion because I already explained what this does. Because we have this material that has an M, and no, M is not for mask because I've seen other maps uh, for these characters and when it's mask, it's um, written mask on it. So we're going to use this as metallic. And well, we'll see what happens and how it looks with the character on. The other things that I'm missing is the specular and the emissive. So when it comes to emissive, I'm just going to copy and paste this. So control C, control V, because I don't want to do that again. And all I'm going to do is substitute this for this one right here. Boom. And we get close and we plug this in. Now, I know if you've seen other Unreal Engine tutorials, I'm being very messy here, but uh, I don't want this to take two hours. So I'm just going to roll with it. Now that's body number two. Apply. OK, body number three is pretty much the same as previous material. So I'm going to time lapse this portion. All right, let's see how Venom is looking. And one of the things I'm noticing is the character is not changing. Now, why is that? That has to do with the rim light. This is, as you can see, this is material hero rim. So we're going to get rid of that. Double click here, and we're just going to transform this into a masked material. And the opacity max is going to be zero. That makes our material completely transparent and um, well, not transparent, but pretty much invisible. And you're going to notice the difference. Voila. Now Venom is fully, fully kitted out. And it was that rim light. That rim light has a very specific shader that I honestly don't like and I'm not going to worry applying here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're now going to look at the head. And here he is. Here is Venom in amazing, amazing suit. And everything looks awesome. I really, really like these materials. We actually um, let's actually rotate the light so you can see the back. Back is fantastic. These guys I love. You watch the video before you know how passionate I am about this kind of art style and I love how these guys look. So you can see everything looks pretty cool, pretty awesome. All right, everybody, that is it for this video. Um, one thing that I had in mind is, do you want to see what this character looks like topology wise? Are you interested in this? I know there's a lot of uh, indie devs that just joined the channel. so. If you're interested in seeing the metahumans dissected, let me know in the comment section down below and we'll add that to the list of videos. Thank you so much for supporting me. The channel has grown immensely uh, with all these videos. I, I'm super happy and of course this series is going to keep going. Now, if you could please leave a like and leave a comment, it goes a long way for a channel as small as mine. Thank you so much for watching all the way to this point and um, I'll see you in the next one.